Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You have to believe that there is a God in heaven who answers prayers. You have to believe this. This is not just some religiosity. No, no, no. We've been doing this for many, many years. And you cannot imagine the testimonies that have come out. In my opinion, this is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, that you believe that you have received it and you shall have it. This is what the Bible says. What things soever ye desire. Hallelujah. We're people of prayer and we're people who have been marvelously helped by God. I want you to believe in every prophetic declaration. I pray over these requests. And in the name of Jesus, for every request here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, you will see it manifest speedily in your life. Everything you have written here as a representation of your faith and your expectation. I release my faith with you and I pray the same hand that submitted the request, let it be the same hand that receives the answers. I say it again, the same hand that submitted the request, may this be the same hand that receives the answers. Every spirit that is back of any negative condition here represented by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare that those spirits give way now. You hear me? By the Spirit of God, every destiny helper who needs to partner with the Holy Spirit to see that these requests are answered, in the name of Jesus, we engage their ministry for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as I always do, I stand upon these requests. The same way I'm standing upon it, everything that has risen above you, in the name of Jesus Christ, it comes under the feet of Jesus. Whatever has represented shame and, re and reproach over your life, I'm prophesying to you right now, that which was once an issue of shame, may god turn it for a testimony in the name of jesus christ the final prophetic word the lord has been revealing to me very very superior understandings about the administration of the prophetic and i believe that he's allowing this for the sake of his people and then because of the times that we live in by next week we'll continue with our series and then there, there, are, there are a few teachings that god is going to be helping us to see opening our eyes to really understand the realm of the spirit and to understand how things work in this kingdom hallelujah I want to speak over your life within the one or two minutes that I have and I want you to believe it let it be from the depth of your heart I wish I had the opportunity and the privilege to lay hands on everyone inside and outside There's several thousands of people here on ground and thousands potentially millions more across the globe and it's impossible to do that but there is one spirit who is able to transcend time and distance and that right where you are through words the power of God can come as prophecy and remain on you and insist that your life becomes a capture of everything that was spoken he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken I want to pray for you do not commonize the prophetic it is powerful be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of jesus be lifted in the name of jesus 
from where you are to where you need to be be lifted in the name of Jesus you know I've been talking a lot through this service about shame and reproach let me pray it officially now in the name of Jesus every embargo over your destiny that spells shame that spells reproach by the power that raised Christ from the dead I erase that from your life in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for structural establishment that means the grace that gives you your own space whether land whether a play a structure so that you stop depending on on people unnecessarily i pray for you it's a real boat the lord has given me my own space i prophesy to you you have the faith to receive it i decree and whatever belongs to you that makes for establishment in this city and in this nation i call upon the god of portions to give you your own portion in the name of jesus christ 